up, people? It's your boy Slide. In this video, I'm going to talk about people not wanting children. Many people these days do not want kids. They're not interested in having kids. And that's something people need to understand. That not everybody wants kids. I also read an article and seen you know, a YouTube clip that not all women want kids either. But first, I'm gonna speak on the men. I'm gonna speak on why men do not want kids. One reason why men do not want kids is because they are afraid of paying child support. Child support is an 18 year commitment. And since most relationships in America do not last very long, the, the men are most likely going to pay child support in most case scenarios. It doesn't matter how much money he makes, it doesn't matter. He's going to pay child support. So, you know, based on where you live, child support is usually 18% for one child. Usually it's 18% of your income. And once the child gets, once the child gets older, the woman can demand more money and the courts will most likely give her, give her the increase. So, and it's just one of those things where you have to pay child support every month. You have to pay every month in child support. So if you miss one month of payment, you will be charged late fees. And if you're late too many times, the judge may send you to jail. So think for a second. You're paying child support for 18 years. And you, have to, you, you must pay every month. If not, you risk going to jail. There is no other bill that I know of where you will go to jail for not paying. Okay? There are some bills out there, or there's some... Yeah, there are some bills out there. If you refuse to pay, they may, you know, have your wages garnished. But jail is not usually... Not, jail is not usually... An option but for child support it is so and once you see the news of many guys going to jail for child support it makes other guys not want to be in that situation so yeah another reason why men do not want to have kids is because he has no influence on the child you have to understand, right? If a person is paying child support, there's a high possibility he's not living near the children. There's a high possibility. Okay? Another thing you have to understand is that because you pay child support doesn't mean you are granted visitation rights. One, you have to apply for it. I mean, depending on the situation of the family courts, you may be given vis visitation rights, which is in some cases it's, it's, every, it's every other weekend. In some cases, and then if the mother doesn't grant you access. You just can't, 
you know, complain to the courts, you have to file a court, you have to file a claim or no, you have to file a case. Then you have to um, wait, which can be months because the family courts are usually backed up. Any court in the United States, if you are going to, there are so many cases filed, you're going to wait at least two to three months before the, if not longer, before the court, before the courts will even see you. So the mother can deny you vis visitation rights. And that's it. You know? And when that happens, some men say, I give up. It's not worth it. So some guys just pay child support and, and just, you know, go their way. There was a guy in New Hampshire who tried to fight the court system, the family courts, and it didn't work out in his favor. His wife admitted that she was having an affair. And as part of the exit plan, you know, she got money. She, I, think she, I think she got money. And she got, I think she got the house as well. But, you know, long story short, he, she pretty much got what she wanted, right? So this guy, lit, he later left the country. He hasn't seen or talked to his kids in three years. He, you know, he just an effort. You know, that's one thing I don't want to be in ever, where I can't see my own child, even though I'm paying child support. That's just ridiculous. Whatever. For me, the reason why I do not want kids anymore is because I enjoy my free time. There are some days I don't want to talk to anybody. Not interested. I don't care. I want to do my own thing. I just want to chill. But when you have a child, you have to cater to their needs. You have to do this. You have to do that. And I'm, I'm just not, that's just not me. No. I don't like that. And another reason why I do not want to have kids anymore, because I'm not a disciplinarian. I'm not a disciplinarian. I'm not trying to tell people what to do. I'm not trying to, no, that's not, that's not who I am. Okay. I'm not here to discipline people. I'm not here to, um, guide them. Nope. That's not my job. I'm not interested in guiding people. I'm not interested. Okay. I'm not interested in that stuff. I may be a mentor to a kid in the future. Like I will mentor a kid, but having kids myself, nah, that's just not for me. Not, not interested. If I can't have, if I cannot have a wife by my side, I will not have kids. There's nothing special about single parenthood. Doesn't matter if you're a single father or a single mother, it doesn't matter. There's nothing special or interesting about being a single parent. If people, if people think they can do it on their own, I'm telling you right now, it's highly impossible. And I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where I can't take care of the child. Not interesting. If people like that, okay then. But for me, no. Not interested. And some women today do not want kids. Some women today do not want kids. And you have to understand, based on what I understand, right? Women do not want kids because we are now living in a career driven a society. It's career driven. Women just want to make money. Some women you see today just want to work, make money, and travel. 
And I totally understand it. I understand it now. Some women, some women just want to have fun. And some women do not have that motherly instinct. And they don't have it in them. They don't have it. Which is cool. You know, at least, I mean, if they can't acknowledge that they don't have it, there's no point in them having kids and wasting their time. You know? There are some married couples today who have no kids and they're happy. Yeah. You know, there are some married couples who have no kids. I read an article some time ago where, it, you know, it, you know, it talked about these married couples. Or I think they're married or older couples in general or older people. I could say about getting their 50s and 60s, I say around that age bracket, where, you know, some people were just happy having no kids. You know, their life was based on how they, just, you know, how I seen it. Like they're happy not having kids because it's just not in them. You know, it's just not what gives them joy. Don't make like, don't get it wrong. Of course they love kids if they see them. Of course they'll be nice to them. Of course they'll, you know, be courteous. Of course, of course, you know, but just raising them. Some people do not have that interest, you know? So it's just something you have to look at based on what you want, okay? And then some people who don't have kids, some of them, who say they don't want kids, they never wanted kids. Some of them end up adopting little kids. You know, some people end up adopting, they're happy adopting a little kid. You know, <laughs> there are so many, um, how do I say this? There are some countries or some, yeah, I, I can say, yes, there are some countries out there, right? Where you have kids out there who don't have anybody. They literally don't have anybody. And what happens most of the time is that because the kid is so nice or because the kid is so obedient, a couple or a family that says they never wanted kids will end up adopting that little person. They'll end up adopting that, that little kid. They'll end up adopting them. Because that person is someone that doesn't need guidance. You see what I mean? So they may raise them for a couple of years. You know, it could be any, it could be anywhere between a year to maybe like five years of their life. These people will just raise, raise the kid. They'll raise the kid as their own. Then once that kid next 18 or how old, wherever it is, they go their way. Those two people, those two couples, they still live the single life. They still, no, not single. They still live the life of not having a child. Or they still live the life they wanted, long story short. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's how it is with some people. Some people have that thing where you can stay with us as long as you like. Stay for a month, stay for two months, then they go their way. That's what some people want, you know? So it really depends on what you want in life. Having kids does not complete anybody. It really doesn't. You know? So you got to choose what you want. And some people today are happy having kids. Some people are not. But you got to choose what's best for you. And as of in the future, I may want kids. You know, but as of right now, how I feel right now, I don't want, I want no kids at all. And I will never, ever have a child in the United States. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. If I travel to another country, I may have kids, depending on, on the situation. But how I feel right now, not interested in having kids. Don't want them. Don't need them. I can live without them. But it's just something you have to understand. Like, we live in a different a generation. Not everyone wants kids. 
Not, not everybody wants kids. So you really got to figure out what you want. Because some people out there, they say they want kids. Then they don't want to do anything that will help the kid grow. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't want to do anything for them. I mean, of course they do it because they feel that they have to. But some of them don't want to do anything for them. They don't want to do anything. But, oh, you know. Nah. Nah. You, you got to achieve what you want. So, yeah. Anyhow, let me know what you think. Peace.